Hey, welcome guys, and today we're finally getting our first game on the channel. Our first game will be, It Lives in the Woods. And, you know, this game is called Choices. I recommend you try it out, and, you know, let's get started. First game on the channel, whoop, whoop. All right. And then this will be a series, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so, it lives in wood. Looks like a creepy series to be starting. This this contains disturbing images and whatever violence and murder. You have been, you know, player description is advised. You have been warned, guys. Alright, let's go. It's time to create your character. I want to play as a girl, I can a guy. Take your character's face. Hey, that totally looks like. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. I know these people look like me, but he looks closer to me. Do I really need that? I 25, but now we can save him from the first. Yeah. No, what the? Alright, we're gonna do this. You know that was really retarded. Devin, get out of here. We wanna name myself Wesley because that's the closest thing we're gonna do. Enter. Enter. Okay. Yes, Wesley. Enter. God. Yes. This is me, yes, choose your visitor. It took me so long to get off that name part. But. Hmm. Oh, who's texting me at 3 in the morning? I'm gonna talk. Alright, this is Dan. Hey, are you there? It's Dan. Hey, are you there? It's Dan. I messed up. I'm sorry. Dan, it's been a while. Are you okay? What happened? I went back into the woods. I had to be sure. I had to prove myself that it was all in my head. But it isn't Wesley. It's all real. He's real. Dan, are you drunk or something? I heard him whispering just like when we were kids. Stop it, Dan. You made all that stuff up. Mr. Reb. Was just a jump. Was just a dumb kids game that got out of control. He doesn't exist. He never did. Oh, look at this! Ruining our game. He does. He's here with me. Now. Wait, wait. Where are you? I can hear him in the trees. I hear him whispering. Hmm. Yeah, you know, a harsh tap, tap, tap from the window makes you jump and drop your phone. Ah! <laughs> a dark shape looms outside the window. Heart hammering in your chest, you fumble for the light switch. What? What? Your bedroom screaming out the window to reveal. Dan, what are you doing here? Wesley, I came in. Wesley, can I come in? Jeez, I'm doing it. I, I guess so. Hang on. You move to the window and slide it open for Dan to climb inside. You got some explaining to do, though. Jack, First star. Sound really freaked out in your text. 
It's nothing, I thought. What do you mean? Oh, come on, we need to get to go get the uppers. What uppers? Our friends Stacy, Lily, Noah, Lucas, Ava, and Annie. Hey, I got something to show you, but we need to bring every bring everyone. Damn, I barely spoke to any of that group since we were little kids after what happened to Jane. But they had to come, Leslie. Everyone has to be there. That's the rule. Dang, well, calm down, man. Dang. Huh, let's just lay a minute. Alright, your phone buzzes again, rattling against the whole floorboard. Sing. Sighing! God! Sighing, pick it up. This is the worst thing possible. Then, I want to help you, but honestly, you're kind of freaking me out right now. Mm. Screw this. I can just let y'all read it now. I, I'm gonna mess up. Fine. Your phone buzzes again. Another notification popping up on, your, on the screen. You look down. The heck? Are you still there? I think I'm lost. One thing, my battery is almost dead. Please help me. Wait. We, we have to go back to the woods, Wesley. Ah. Uh, He's saying, <laughs> this is his name, don't it? The lights flicker on and off. Let's just cut it short, please. All right, hands trembling, you slowly look up from your phone screen. Dan? His smile spreads across Dan's shadow face, stretching wider, vanishes. Wesley? <laughs> you start to back away, but Dan can't clap around your wrist, trying to pull free, but he... You try... You try to pull free, but he turns to you with inhuman strength. Well, damn. Mm -hmm. Hey, I should punch him, boy. What do you think this is? <laughs> your first round against Dan, too, but he barely even fought. Well, dude, what the? They have to lose you to the floor, pinning in your back of the floor. You all have to go back, don't you remember? Get off of me! You fall at that, and his flesh crumbles beneath your fingernails. Oh, ill. Then we send his cold back. Oh no! Everyone plays the devil, Wesley. What is happening again? Who? Oh! Throw that skirt the freak out of me. But keep your hand tighten around the throat. Your vision blur begins to blur. Shadows see me through. You know, your vision and bleed and all that stuff. No, I'm never going you yeah, have no breath left to scream. You simply don't realize that kill your cold breath. Nothing else. Oh my god, that scene gave me a heart attack. It was a works. Take one. Old friends. You jerk into a wakefulness, adrenaline burning in your veins as you fast against your attacker. Do you realize that you're running around? The heck? What a messed up dream. <laughs> you jerk to fill your neck. You think as your finger on breath, a fresh bruises for Boy, Ooh, what the heck? What the? I don't know. Scary or shaving here. Excuse me, middle school. I got that. Where? 
A low nerve score will make it much harder to keep your cool in desired situations. No way. This can't be happening. You grab your phone to look at the text from last night, only to discover that the battery is dead. I hate that. Crap! Fine, you toss your phone into the school bag and turn to your closet. Guess I better get ready for school. Need to look good for my first day of senior year. Senior year? What is that? Oh, oh no. Hey. Uh, ooh, I like this, but let's see about that. This will fit me. No. Sorry, guys. We're going with this dude. Boom. Wrapping your school bag, you hurry down my stairs. Oh, dang, that must be true. Outside, you cast a nervous glance towards the woods that border the edge of your yard. <sighs> Mr. Red, Dan couldn't have seen him. That was all just make believe. As you descend the steps, a friendly voice calls out from the yard next door. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Morning, neighbor. Oh, hey, Sid. Me. Kid. What's up? Let's call him Sid. What's up? Just coming back from our walk. Hey, Hilda. Look who it is. Please tell us something. A blur of black and white fur crashes out of the bushes looking around entirely. Woof! Yeah, I like that dog. Hilda bounds over to you. Her bushy tail reads like a flat. Hi, girl. <laughs> hey. Things can make you feel happy or brave will increase your nerve score. Having a lot of nerve will help you with it. The child that went. Aroo! I'm a stop that. Oh, good to see you too, cutie. I like dogs. I only have a cat. But Huda flops on her back, uh, rig wiggling happily as you love her baby. <sighs> Your parents around? I didn't see him out and about this morning. Yeah, if you're still overseas dealing, dealing with my great aunt, East, East Day or whatever, they'll be back in a couple of weeks. Heck, that, that's a long time for a kid to be by themselves, especially in a big house like that. Yeah, well, let's see. I could take care of myself, I'm good. I just turned 18, you know. I could do my own life and everything. I'm getting pretty good at mac and cheese, too. I only set off a smoke alarm like three times this week. Oh, they go up so fast. Sis, I suddenly cocks his head toward talking, taking a few steps towards your house. And crouching down beside a small pile of loose dirt. Huh? Wonder what this is. Sid picked up so okay, screw that I don't think. This yours? Strange home. It looks so cool. Weird. This stone is surprisingly heavy in your hand. You move your phone along the deep crack that runs through the scent. Okay. I wonder where this came from and that it broke. Beats me. Looks like a a paperweight or something. Brushing away some of the dirt from the stone, you freeze as a familiar smell wraps into your name. Cold earth and a hint of blood. 
said that uh, said that familiar. It smells just like that thing that you stop yourself dancing nervously as soon. Smells like what? Oh, weird. It's just smells kind of weird. So familiar smell. Sid nod dusting off his hands. Well, I'll let you get to school. You just know me. You just let me know if you need a lot. My dog always oh, okay. So, so far, you remember the smell of blood from that rock or something. Will do. Thanks, Sid. Sid Griffith and, he, and Hilda Gilks up to follow her. Once they're out of sight, you look down at the stone in your hand. <sighs> That's all. That's not good. Well, this could be a clue. Better keep it safe. So. Yeah, it takes a few tries for, for you to open the shed door. It's rusted. Hinges, screeches with every shot. Jeez, when's the last time someone was in here? Cobweb, cobwebs tickle your face as you approach the work table, setting a cracked stone down on this, on this dusty, on the dusty surface. I can't pronounce words today. It looks kind of cool. So that's all the items we can get. Yep, my inventory shed. And I'll basically tell you about the inventory. Yep. From your adventure, I bet I could fit all kinds of stuff in here. Before turning off the light, you step back out into the yard, shutting the shed door behind you. Scream! A few minutes later, on the ah, to the side, you glance up, locking eyes with a dagger of a black finger. That looks familiar. First, close to a stop in the gathering out through the open window. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's good. I think so. This is doing the same thing. Do you go to this point? But, ah, uh, I don't care. Not anymore. Thank God. Left, left the death. That's all behind a couple of years ago. Curse me or something. Oh man, I missed it. Hang in, hang in there. You'll be out before you know it. Anyway, <sighs> I better get to work. Talk to you later. He stepped on the door and the car starts to pull away. Hey, me what you think? Oh, I never got to... But he's already too far to hear the opinion around a woman in the Man? Talking, you continue, you continue your long walk to the school. Because you could have gave us a ride. A thin crowd of students trickles across the front yard of the school, even in falling out. To friends who friends are to converge on the front door. Squeezing through a loud crowd hall, crowded hall, you find a familiar girl standing at the lock of her seal. Oh, hey, Eva. Sup? Yeah. I don't know if I was trying to do that a voice now. Not much. That has, hmm, not much, that hasn't always been your locker, has it? I've never seen you using it before. <laughs> got reassigned. Ava kicks the lock to the side and shrugs her bag into, onto her shoulder. Oh, look, it's Lily. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Following Ava's gaze, you see a nervous girl clutching a textbook to her chest. Um, hi guys. Hi, Lily. It's good. Got back from doing a good 
tell me if y'all want me to talk in the next episode. Okay. I'm with the other girls in London to cover on a game she's working on. It's awesome. Let me know if you ever need a... Uh, here, I clicked it. Uh, blue glance over... I hate I don't feel like that. It's too much more. Sure, what's we'll up? I got some really weird text last night. <laughs> Did you? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Looks like I've been ghosting this guy for like two solid weeks and he just asked me out for coffee boy. oh boy just when you think high school might not be the something uh you know what screw this i'm not reading no more actually i might oh no 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 maybe he's just not scared of the uh, you could try to put on the stack. Put on the grills. That's not Josh, do you even know what? Hi, hi, Brittany. The group stops in real tracks and Brittany turns to get her hmm. Wow, Lily, great sweater. I didn't know Baby Barn had a... This Oh, how rude, Brittany. Uh-uh. No, you read Ferrari for my birthday, but I settled for not having to listen to your wanting with her. Oh, no, no. Like, you've been in the sun too long, Brittany. Oh, but me on. Yeah. Because we've been here fashion since or whatever. We want to be models on. Ooh, pink dog ground. Or wearing this way cooler. Hey, you friends are who you want to ask you. I ask myself. <laughs> and hear anyone asking for your opinion either. Ooh. <laughs> How about you take your un. Ooh. Hey, dang. Oh, yeah, I do. Thanks. Ooh, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, God. That means anything. No, shut up. Shut up. This is not a rebuttal. I'm not gonna worry. I'm gonna give y'all something. Oh, Oh, shut up. That rip off walk to me. Like wolves? Uh uh, no. I don't like Brittany. Why are you messing with her? They were probably stronger than you. Oh, 
Oh, shut up. You more than free than one of these. One of you don't look at that here. Yeah, it's none of your business. No, this is making me mad. Where are my friends at? Dang, it just let me take this on my own. Chapter one, we're done. Chapter two will be tomorrow. Why do I name my character Owen? Please have enough diamonds, please. 